So we got sent this rather massive box in the post. And we don't really know what's inside it. I mean, obviously there's clues on the front here. It's about Mato Anomalies, the game. And there is a scale statue in there of one of the characters called Butterfly. But there may be something else, who knows? Let's have a look, open up the box and let's find out. <laughs> So, when we take off the lid, the first thing we can see a layer of foam. It's very well packaged, so whatever's inside must be very delicate. Okay, so we can see all the different compartments. So, let's have a look at this object first. So, that is a book. Welcome to Mato, the art of Mato anomalies. Okay, so we've got some blurb on the back. So, we'll have a further look at that a bit later. Okay, the Mythos of Mato, we've got a CD. I haven't seen one of those for a while. Okay, quite a lot in Japanese at the back there, but I think that must be music from the game. And we've got a certificate of authenticity, 167 out of 200. So this figurine in here is a limited edition. It's nice to have that card to show that. Okay, so let's have a look at the figure itself. There's her body. Fortunately it's uh, decapitated but I'm sure there's a head in there somewhere, I'm hoping there is. Really lovely details on that. Nice quality, very heavy. Nothing else in there. Okay so I think this must be the head. Let's have a look, how do I open? Okay we'll just pull it out, yes. And the hair, very delicate. There's the head. Ah, here's the base. That's really heavy. Okay, so that's what butterfly will be standing on. It's got a nice velvet bottom there. And all we've got missing now is her arms, which I guess are in here. And there they are. She's got some kind of weapon that she's holding there. There's one arm. And we have the other one. So I guess we have to build her and snap all these pieces into place. So I'll do that a bit later. Let's see if there's anything else. This is a very big box. So there may be another layer under here. I'm trying to get this foam out. Yeah. Okay, what we got? Oh. No, there doesn't seem to be anything else in there. It's a little bit disappointing. Oh well, never mind. Let's put all that back in there. And uh, we'll have a closer look at the things inside. So we've got all the pieces out here. And we're going to put Butterfly together now. So while I do that, I thought I might read out some information about the character that the developer sent us. So, Butterfly, she's simple and straightforward, acting before thinking. That's the first thing you will notice about Butterfly. She's perhaps the most righteous in the whole party. She's been fighting for what she thought was right since the very beginning. She's known by many different names, including Cat Burglar, Master Thief and Knight Errant. She's the team's motivator and is consistently the person with the most vigour, whether when investigating or fighting. So her battle style. Butterfly is able to take advantage of her quick actions and neat attacks. And when the fight gets tough, she can provide the team with healing. She's a vital helper in the team. Weapons. She's got dart, which deals pierce damage, can attack multiple targets, causing the targets to fall into the abnormal status of poisoned and her claws i think that must be what we're seeing here that she's holding in her in between her fingers they deal crush damage can act again if killing the target and gain evasion boost so there she is she's all been put together and you can see a little bit more about that detail that i was talking about earlier 
Now here is the base, which you should just slot in to the top. That's quite tricky getting her in the right angle to slot her in. But there she is, all complete. So we'll just give her a spin so you can see the figurine from all angles and, and the detail that I explained earlier. I really like how she is mid-action there with her scarf and her hair flowing behind her as she runs into battle. It's a really nice touch. So let's have a closer look at this book then. It's called Welcome to Mato, the Art of Mato Anomalies. Just open it up. It's a hardback book. And there's five chapters. So chapter one, stories and characters, environments, symbols and items and interfaces. So if we start looking at the stories chapter. Here we've got some of the characters that appear. And here's some of the environments that you will find in the game. So you can tell looking at this that the art of the game is really very detailed. So here we go into symbols and items. So we've got like some of the posters you'll see in the city, and the statues, the buildings. And a quick flick through icons. That's part of the interfaces chapter. And you can see some storyboards there. See if we can find Butterfly in the characters chapter. Oh, there she is. You can find out a little bit more about her there. Really lovely book to flick through. There's the contents, if I can actually get the camera to focus. Yeah, there we go. That's what you can see in that book. So massive thanks go to Arrowiz for sending us this box. And if you're interested in the game Mater Anomalies, then we'll put a link to our review of the game in the description box below.